then I started doing it under G, hiding it from the parents, hiding yes. it from my sister and brother, whatever. And as I was growing up, I felt like, okay, listen, I'm not going to listen to what people say about me. There are women hiding in closets, hiding uh, behind couches, uh, getting tapped in hotels and cars and in and, and, and work closets uh, all over this country who know that they're dealing with somebody's boyfriend or husband. Right. They know that they're the secret. They call it the odd time that he's available and his wife isn't around. Right. They do that on purpose. Right. They they let him save their number under odd names. They they, they completely are complicit and are helpful in his in his efforts to cheat. And then when they get cheated on, how dare guys, guys are dogs. They Vault opening. Welcome to the vault. <laughs> and that's why men don't leave their wives or their main girlfriends if they choose not to be married. Yes. Side chicks, you help a man bust a nut. But he's going back to his wife. And, no, and, and don't they say to you guys, don't call me at this time, don't do this. Don't text me, da 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 it's all these rules and regulations. If you're a side chick, or a side dude, whatever side you are, if you're a side, and you love it, and you stand proud in it, you know, uh, to me, we, we can never be friends. I don't even want to meet you, don't even tell me your stories, because I'm going to tell you the truth about your actions. You are shady. And what you're doing is wrong. No matter how much you want to say that I'm a feminist, I'm strong, and this is the life that I want. Really? That's the life that you want. That man doesn't even really love you. Even if you can build a relationship for years and years and years, he doesn't really love you. You're a disposable thing. We didn't don't you to that man. If he can lie to his wife and cheat with you, baby, who the hell do you think you are? And he's not leaving the wife. Who do you think you are? Nandi says, it's so disgusting. It's very, very, it's, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be very, very ashamed. And most of these side chicks are proud. I mean, look at this lady. She has a whole school about being a side chick and she's proud of it. Wow, that's weird. That's really, really weird. I really feel bad for long-term girlfriends and wives that have to encounter these chicks or these dudes, these sides. It's, it's very devastating. It's very devastating to have your partner cheat on you. And yet he doesn't want to be apart from you. He wants to be with you because he loves you. And yet he's cheating on you. It's very, I feel really bad for, for women that are put in these situations. And then for the side chick to have the audacity to say, I'm actually helping you because I'm a stress reliever. Because wives are nags. Wives are nags or um, main girlfriends are nags because they are with this person. For a very long time they see the good the bad and the ugly they go through the ups and the downs they go through the highs and the lows when there's money when there's no money when there's this or when there's that they are the ones that are taking care of that nigga when he's ill he wants her to take care of him not you he's not coming to the side chick for all of those natural needs that people have he comes to you to bust a nut and that's it and that's it. So, side chicks, can you please get in the comments and tell me what your experience is, actually. Because I really do feel like, first of all, oh, my baby is itching. I feel like we're living in hell. And the side chick phenomenon, and how dare they <laughs> try to sound all self-righteous. I'm doing you a favor. I'm satisfying your man in areas that you... That you cannot. What do you mean? You got a vagina. I got a vagina. So what do you mean? It's not about that. Stop trying to sound slick, side chicks. You sound stupid. You sound very stupid. You sound very, very stupid. When I think
think about psychic, I just think, oh, yeah, we are definitely in hell because what they're doing is not of God. It's very demonic. It's evil. It's not nice. And to do evil deeds, knowing very well that you're going to potentially break up a family, even though you say that is not my intention. I want to be the side forever. But there are some wives that leave their husbands for cheating and it could be your, your fault. People like to come out here. When I did the Mishani video, when that girl was coming at her about her men and stuff, people were saying to me, Jorge, why do, why, oh, like, just shush. Just don't even speak, man. People were saying to me, Jorge, why do we always um, hold the other woman accountable and not the man? That is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. Because most of these side chicks know that they side chicks. How can I not hold you accountable as the woman? You know. And if you've ever been cheated on as a woman, you know how painful it is. If you have a vendetta against men and you've been hurt before, it wasn't me that hurt you, so why are you doing that to me? You know about me. You know we have kids, all these things. You know that they married. Why? For money. For an apartment. It doesn't make any sense to go out into the world and intentionally try to hurt people. Even if you say that you are trying to be the peace in people's marriage. No. And even if the wife doesn't find out about the situation, you are still hurting them. And it's a sin. It's wrong. It's wrong. People like Zoto Avantu knew that Manja was with Kanye. But she went for it anyway because she said that she was hungry and she had to hustle. And people say that she's a role model. Hmm. Mm -mm. We are in hell. We are in hell because this is weird. Side chicks are insecure, weak women or side dudes weak they are weak and there's nothing that they can teach you my friends my family you can do better you can do better enjoy your influencers content when it's the right thing but you need to call them on it when they are saying something weird and doing things that are shady I don't care if you side chicks were hurt in the past by some dude. Now you have a vendetta against all women on the world. I'm going to show them a lesson. No. No. What, what, what are you doing, bruh? You're weak and weird. And we don't like it. It's not empowering to women. So, my friends, my family, when you encounter these type of influences, call them on it. If they're saying something shady on their video, Wanting to be with other people's men. Advising you guys to find sugar daddies and being proud. Saying things like, you can't tell me who I can be or who I can see. You're not going to make me feel bad. You're going to feel bad. You're going to feel bad. Even if you say to Linda Kyle, I don't feel bad about what I'm doing. I know you do. You're lying because you're a side chick. You're not even that important. You're not that important. And you're not doing anybody a favor. You're just being shady and dirty and it's weird. Please stop. Please stop what you're doing. It's disgusting. Because the man that you are cheating with is probably cheating on you with many, many, many other girls. If he can lie to his wife and get away with it. Huh, <laughs> sweetie, who the hell do you think you are? Because you weigh nothing. He's married. <laughs> he's not leaving his wife for you. And he's probably stringing along other girls. You're not that important. You're really not. And you're going to grow old. Some of these influencers already look very old. They look so old. But they're still <laughs> trying. Get your fillers. Do your, lift your faces. Do all these funny things. It's not going to change how rotten you are inside. Because that's just disgusting. And what about the sponsors and the companies that are sponsoring and that are behind these people? When are we going to start calling them out? I don't want anybody to be cancelled. But I mean, fair is fair. So many celebrities and people have lost their gigs for cheating. 
for saying the wrong thing. Some some people are, are getting cancelled in 2021 for things they said in 2000 on the internet. So why are all these influencers still running around and saying all these shady things? We don't want to be influenced can't be wrong anymore. We actually want proper content. We want proper role models. We want the right thing because we are tired of all this dirty nonsense. It's dirty and it's weird. So even those companies and the sponsors and all these people need to be called out. You can't cancel one person and say, oh my gosh, you are so bad. We're taking everything away from you. But then you give it to people that are doing the very same thing and nobody's going to say anything about it. Because we're young and just having fun. You're not going to be young forever. And the internet doesn't forget. <laughs> At some point, we're all going to be cancelled for something. Even I might be cancelled for something as well. I don't know what. But it's not going to happen now because I'm telling the truth. I'm telling the truth all the time. And I actually want you guys to do better. I don't want anyone to be removed off their platform. But I mean, come on, can we just grow up? Being a cool girl is not the end all and be all of life. Be responsible with the things that come out of your mouth. Be responsible with your VJJ. Because right now you're leaving a very bad taste in our mouths. It's disgusting. You are disgusting. And people are actually profiting and having schools for Thai chicks. And you want to pay school? People pay this person to teach you how to be a hoe? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Where the hell am I? It's weird. So that brings us to the end of today's video. After watching Unpacked and I saw that, I was like, let me just talk about it. Because women need to actually be... <sighs> You want to be respected. You want all these, these things to come your way. You, but you, you're not a respectable woman. How are we going to respect you? You speak carelessly and it doesn't make any sense to me. And I know that a lot of people are going to feel the same way. Being a side chick sucks, guys. It's boring. Clearly it is. It's dirty. It's not cool. It's not. And it's a sin. A sin is bigger than a crime. In my opinion. Think about it. You know what I mean? Get yourself together. Get your own man. Why can't you get your own man, Ben? Why can't you just be in a relationship, your own relationship that you build, that you nurture? Why? What is wrong with you? Something is wrong with you. There's a problem. There's a very big problem. And I don't like you. I think you're very evil and demonic if you're a side chick. Something is wrong with you. Right? Anyway, you guys, um, that brings us to the end of today's video. I also wanted to say to you guys that um, lately here on YouTube, especially South African YouTube, with all these people that are passing away, it's getting very, very, it's getting very, like, sad. It's getting very, very sad. Think of it this way. When you watch e-news or you watch SABC news or wh whatever news you watch or listen to, I don't watch the news. And if I find info, I'm always on the internet, right? So I don't watch mainstream khutters. I don't believe them. I feel like we don't get the full story all the time and stuff. So I like to dig deep and find my own, my own information. And if I do want to know something, usually my partner will tell me what happened on the news or whatnot. And then I will dig a little deeper and find out what's happening have you noticed how all these news channels and stuff if they report a death or a sad situation they'll probably do one or two um episodes or whatever of the situation but here on youtube people are just sitting on these deaths and stuff and stuff you're making people sad youtube is supposed to be fun you can't even start dramas and, and be petty with people anymore because everybody's just talking about all the deaths Pay your respects to your thing and then can you please move on and actually give us good content, guys? I'm not just a YouTuber, I'm also a consumer. So I have a right to say, guys, please. Come on. Death is dark. It's sad. You can't do death for so many days. Two weeks! <laughs> no! Day two. 
We get it. People are dying. It's sad. But most of your consumers, and you know who I'm talking about, oh, I mean, stop, bruh. You're starting to lose the plot. You really are. And it's, it's sad to watch. I told you guys, I don't want, I, I actually don't want to cover OAMI anymore. I'm going to do another video now about um, why people are not relevant on these YouTube streets anymore. But I just want to say, I, don't, I really don't want to cover OAMI. She's starting to bore me a lot. Her being the topic is not even interesting anymore. I'm getting annoyed. One bore. Because all you cover is death. There's so many other things. There's so many other social issues that are happening in the world. That is also entertainment. That you can talk about. Uplift people. Educate people. Actually, I'm starting to notice, even on my channel, people want content that is education. Like, you want to learn something. You guys are conversating in my comments. You drop me a comment, but then you comment to each other. And I love it. I love to see you guys in my comments, talking to each other. You guys are having the conversations. People want information. We don't want to hear about everyone that's dying. It's sad. Condolences to everyone and their families. But YouTube is a space to be creative, to get away from all the stresses of life. We click on and we're going to be stressed. And when you report so much on death and darkness, it follows you. And you know exactly what I mean. People are not happy with some of you right now. Death is dark. It's Oglandela. Not that anything's gonna happen to you, but your energy is oh, I, I, it's becoming too much. I just wanted to point that out because I don't want to do a whole video about this lady again. She's she's boring me now. I want to talk about other things, right? Anyway, you guys, if you haven't already, please do like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys so much <laughs> for subscribing to my channel. I absolutely appreciate it. It feels weird and scary all at the same time. So, oh, so many people are watching and actually subscribing. It's crazy. Um, I'm going to do my best. Today's Thursday, so I'm going to do my level best to respond to each and every comment. You guys know I love them. I've been reading them, but I've also been very tired the past couple of days. Like, I didn't upload yesterday. I was really, really tired. Eh? I was so tired. I don't know why. But I'm here. I'm going to be responding to your comments and let's let's keep the conversations going. I've been seeing you guys in the comment section conversating, um, giving you opinions about this, that and the other. And I absolutely love it. You know, I absolutely love that we can actually talk. I wish um, YouTube actually had an option of like um, where you could leave a comment and it's a voice recording. You know, it's much easier than typing, but that would be cool. So, hey, YouTube. Maybe we can have a recorded comments little section. And it's my idea. So <laughs> credit me for that or credit me for that type of thing. If YouTube ever does decide to do that. I know we can, we can go live and have this conversation. But I mean for a specific, a specific video and whatnot. Can we just have in the comment section a place where you can record your comments and speak. It's also very nice to hear the tone of someone's voice. Understand where they're coming from. It gives the message a different feel, you know, humanize everyone type of thing. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, we're on the road to 1,000 subscribers. And definitely once we hit 1,000 subscribers, there's going to be <laughs> special things coming with that. And um, I've always planned that um, once we hit 1,000 subscribers, things are going to get a bit dangerous, <laughs> if you know what I mean, in a good way, you know. Um, we have to obviously amp up the work, amp up the effort, amp up the quality, all these things once we get to that point. So yeah, I would be really happy to see you guys, you know, in that 1000 mark situation with me. It's going to be hella fun. So I'll see you guys in the next video and I absolutely love you guys. Please don't become side chicks. And side chicks, please stop. You're boring. You know what I mean? That's boring. That's boring. Anyway, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>